The Clever TV New Moon Chapter Recap continues right now. Hi guys, I'm Dana Ward at the Clever TV headquarters and you've reached our Chapter 6 Recap. This chapter from New Moon is called Friends, and it continues right where Chapter 5 left off with Jacob and Bella working on the motorcycles as Jacob catches up on Bella on his sophomore year of school, as well as his two best friends, Quill and Embry. Soon after, these BFFs pop into the shed and we get a full physical description of them. Jacob introduces the group and they recognize Bella as Charlie's daughter. Then the guys start to discuss shop. So Bella cuts out in order to make dinner for Charlie, but not before discussing that they'll go shopping for parts the next day, that Sunday. And gentleman Jacob says he feels funny about letting her pay for the new motorcycle parts as Quill and Embry give him a hard time for his crush on Bella. Bella heads home, she and Charlie talk about the afternoon at the Blacks, and after heading to bed, Bella is shocked to wake up without having a nightmare and having felt well rested. She hopes that she doesn't have to try to act normally today with Jacob. You can tell that Charlie is very happy that Bella's hanging with Jacob again. In fact, he's called the Blacks to invite Billy over to watch the game. And so Jacob is waiting for Bella and runs out to meet her as she pulls up to their house. The two head over to the dump, Bella's checkbook in hand, to get some parts. And Jacob's constant happiness makes Bella feel really eager to see him. It's kind of funny because he brings up her horrible stereo removal job. Little does he know the whole story. So the pair chat during a two hour drive about La Push, and then Jacob mentions how Quill likes Bella, but she responds that he's just way too young. Then the two get into this long back and forth discussion about ages and how there's certain trade offs that can give you more experience and make you older, and how you can lose years if you're small in size, just as examples for figuring out an age formula. In the end, when they get back to the garage, Jacob is 30 and Bella is 23. As Jacob works, Bella notices his smooth working abilities just as Billy gets home. They quickly clean up. Jacob grabs grabs Bella's hand as he leads the way back to the house. Charlie is there as they're all eating dinner together, along with some of the neighbors, including the Clearwaters. The night ends very quickly, and as Bella heads up to her bedroom that night, she nervously thinks about how Jacob's warmth was starting to get filled by anxiety. So to put off going to sleep, Bella checks her email, being sure to write back Renee. Unfortunately, she still wakes up having a nightmare, but it was a totally different story. Instead of being alone in the nightmare, Sam Yuley was with her in the forest. She noticed that his form was changing in her peripheral vision. Is this some interesting foreshadowing here? What do you think? Back at school, Bella notices that she is simply unnoticeable. She says hey to Jessica, who's kind of cold to her, but later Bella gets clued into the school gossip by some of the girls. Angela starts talking about how she saw something that she thought was way too big to be a bear while she was driving up north, but everyone's definitely questioning it. Then Bella adds in that someone at Newton's was talking about a mysterious big bear which it takes Mike a bit of time to confirm. The focus changes to Bella's weekend plans, and then as she gets up to empty her lunch tray, Angela follows her and thanks her for supporting her story about the weird creature. They have a short heart to heart, and Bella realizes that the day before was exactly one year since her first day at school. Okay, so that's it for chapter six, friends. How did you like this one? All right, pop quiz time. Today's question is, what do you guys think are the ages of Jacob and Bella according to the age formula where size, skills, and other things are added into the equation? Make sure you explain your answer. Thanks for watching the Clever TV Chapter Recap for New Moon. I'm Dana Ward, and we'll see you next time.